How did an enlightened samurai become world champion in the UFC? Weigh in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Merlo Czech Republic, presenting Yuri Prohaska! Yuri Prohaska is the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, modern day samurai, and enlightened Zen monk, all at the same time. But how did he become this way? The very first thing Yuri did on his path to becoming a world champion was get in touch with his inner voice through solitude. Tak jak vlastně, jestli opravdu potom touží po té, po té pravdě v tom svém životě, tak musí být hodně sám, musí nad sebou, sám ze sebou strávit hodně času. Through weeks spent alone and countless hours of deep meditation, he came to the conclusion of his life purpose. Musím prostě se stát tím nejlepším zápasníkem světa, abych potom mohl s tou vážností, kterou nabudu, měnit vlastně to, to smýšlení, to vědomí toho uh, národa, světa. So Yuri had one small problem. He had to figure out how to become the best fighter in the world. Luckily for him, he had a deep understanding of the inner workings of the mind, specifically the success instinct. Squirrels instinctively know to gather and store nuts, even if they've never lived through a winter before. Birds instinctively know how to build a nest and always know exactly where warmer weather lies. Animals all have instincts to survive and thrive. These instincts are often called success instincts. Humans also have success instincts, but they're far beyond that of an animal. Also called the success mechanism, there is something deep within all of us that guides us toward our goal at all times. Whether you can consciously name your goals or not, you have them. The drug addict has goals just as much as the professional athlete does, and the brain and nervous system are leading us on autopilot in the direction of the goals we think about the most. This is what we program our success mechanism to hone in on. For most of us though, we're just living the same day over and over again, so we're constantly doing and thinking the exact same things. So the goals our success mechanism programs itself to achieve are exactly what we're already doing. Thus, we can get trapped unconsciously on this hamster wheel as our success mechanism believes what we're doing every day is our goal. To reprogram one's success mechanism, they must recalibrate their mind to constantly stay focused on a goal that is different from the experience they're having on a daily basis. With enough focus and repetition, the mind will work in harmony with the body to guide us toward the goal we stay focused on, and achieving the goal becomes effortless. To Yuri, the path to his belt seems effortless, because his success mechanism is perfectly tuned to the goal that his inner being desires. Protože když něco člověk opravdu chce, tak zatím půjde přes cokoliv, úplně přes cokoliv. Nemusí držet disciplínu, já tu krev budu potit úplně a, a s láskou a rád, strašně rád, jako. And this alignment guides his behavior toward his goal on autopilot. What you want to achieve in, in the life. And when you have all these things on the paper or whatever, or whatever in, in a head, then you, your body and everything will start to, to achieve that one by one by one, one thing. One thing at a time. Yeah, yeah. Now it seems too simple to be true. If we have instincts built into us that guide us toward what we want, why do so many people not have what they want? First, most people don't even have goals. It's been shown that only 3% of the population has goals and only 1% of the population writes them down. Yuri not only has a goal he's committed to, he cut out everything in his life that wasn't related to it. To hlavní, ten hlavní smysl prostě toho mého života a všechno, všechno ostatní šlo stranou. Škola, povinnosti prostě. Then, in his relentless pursuit of becoming the best fighter alive, he realizes he has to master his mind just as much as his body to perform at his best. Through deep meditation, weeks spent alone in the woods, and days trapped by himself in a dark room, he was able to calm and center his mind, stopping it from being distracted. This is what he calls mastering his mind. Be still with your mind, control the mind for, for, uh, to keep it clear, to keep it, uh, uh, straight. Once he mastered his mind, he began directing it toward his goal of becoming the UFC world champion all the time. Calibrating his mind on this constantly, he finds the path there is quite easy. All of the steps needed to take are revealed to him, including some he hadn't even thought of. Měl jsem proto svý důvody a ta mysl prostě... To, ta, ta tě prostě vede, jako když se napojíš fakt na, na sebe samotného, 
tak víš, co máš dělat. Some of the steps revealed to Yuri through his success mechanism are obvious, but some of them are unheard of. And what's amazing about Yuri is he follows every single instinct given to him. Training while fasting for five days straight. To bylo, to bylo těch pět, pět dní půstu a do toho jsem ještě tam trénoval. A tak nějak jsem se snažil jít prostě až na hranu, na hranu prostě toho, co snesu. Protože mě to prostě takhle vedlo, no. Já teď už nevím, jak to, jak jinak to nazvat, než jenom tím, že se nechávám vést prostě. Shadowboxing a one-two combination for 24 hours straight. Jo, tak nebudu, nebudu se toho bát. Fakt půjdu až na, na, na hranu a zkusím 24. Tak jsem šel na 24 hodin přední zadní. No. Locking himself in a dark room for three days by himself. I, I did that many times. Um, like it's 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 like uh, it's a part of training. Now while these might seem crazy to outsiders, to Yuri, they're necessary steps he must take in order to achieve his goal. His success mechanism gives him ideas and revelations that will help him achieve his goal of becoming UFC champion. And part of what makes Yuri so special is that he follows through on every single one of them, no matter how bizarre they seem. Most would write these ideas off as illogical or not needed, but Yuri trusts his instincts completely and follows through with complete control over his mind and body. And the results are undeniable. Yuri has an unheard of 97% finishing rate. This is the highest rate in not just the UFC, but in all of combat sports for any fighter with over 15 fights. So how did Yuri accomplish this? What separates Yuri is his unbelievable mindset. In his early career, he felt extreme fear during his fights. Boj o holý život, prostě. Já jsem tam nastoupil a, a jak, jak kdybych prostě uh, se začal topit, jo? Prostě panicky jsem začal mlátit, bouchat, kopat, abych vyhrál. But through a combination of conquering his own mind and tuning his success mechanism toward his goal of becoming champion, he no longer feels these negative emotions which do not serve him. I don't feel the pressure because the pressure is just here. Yeah. And when you, when you uh, work with your mind daily, oh, non-stop, <laughs> then you, 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 you don't feel pressure. Obviously when he steps in the cage, he has a huge advantage over every other fighter who feels these emotions. Wonder Boy has almost a hundred fights and still feels this. I've got over close to 70 something fights and I get nervous every time, every time. Like I feel like I'm about to die. Not only does he not feel pressure or nerves before fights, he no longer feels fear during the fights. <laughs> Už jsem začal, začínal tu mysl trošku krotit, jo, a začal jsem se v tom cítit, cítit dobře. Complete control of his mind leads Yuri to feel no pressure and no fear. Yuri's complete control over his mind also gives him one last advantage over every fighter in the world. This advantage was discovered long ago by the great Spartan king Agesilaus. When he was asked what was the most important warrior virtue, he replied, contempt for death. Yuri, who subscribes to the code of the samurai, has adopted this philosophy. Že byli prostě ta rozhodnutost v to, když přijde ten okamžik toho výkonu, tak je rozhodnutý prostě zemřít a už prostě ho nemůže nic ovlivnit. The strongest instinct inside of all of us is the instinct to survive. To be able to override this instinct is the greatest sign of Yuri's mastery over his body and mind. This mastery ends up making Yuri a world champion. To win the belt, Yuri fought Glover Teixeira in the 2022 fight of the year. During this insane back and forth fight, Yuri was rocked multiple times and in many terrible positions, yet he fought through and eventually made Glover tap with 30 seconds to go. These two men both showed insane heart and determination, but one thing separated them. Yuri was prepared to die in there, and Glover wasn't. This difference ends up being what would crown Yuri the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world finally achieving what he set his success mechanism to. It is possible to infer that Yuri's insane training methods that his success mechanism guided him to are what led to his eventual conquering of his mind and contempt for death, which in turn made him a champion. Yuri Prohaska may have wild training methods, but his results are undeniable. The highest percentage of finishes ever and one of the quickest paths from UFC debut to champion. Here's how he did it. First, spending a lot of time alone with his thoughts in order to hear his inner voice more clearly. Once he connected with his inner voice on what purpose he wanted to achieve, he conquered his mind, then kept the image of the goal in his head constantly. Finally, when the repetition pierced through into his subconscious success mechanism, he followed through wholeheartedly with all of the instructions it gave him, no matter how strange they seemed to anyone else. 
If I could summarize Yuri's secret, it would be this. Trust yourself. If you want to learn more about trusting yourself, check out this video here. And if you want to learn more about the success mechanism, I highly recommend the book Psycho Cybernetics. If you purchase it with the link in the description, you'll be supporting the channel. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.